Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Milk Tea September channel. Today I'm thinking of doing a chill little drawing session and talking a bit about some of my favourite anime style artists in the process. So my absolutely favourite artist in this moment in time has got to be Ui Shigure Sensei. There are some in this world who might proclaim that there's no such thing as a perfect artwork. That there is always room for improvement, as long as you're an artist. Maybe that's true, but I put forth to these people a very strong case against this claim, and that comes in the form of this artist, Ui Sensei, who seems, beyond all shadow of a doubt, to have mastered the anime form to a frightening degree, at least to my untrained eye, she has transcended the normal limits of human flesh and attained the pinnacle of beauty as can be expressed in this art form, and all her works are of superlative beauty and depth and expression. All her works are good, but maybe my favourite is this one titled Ui Suba on Pixiv, where she draws for us her own VTuber self on the right and her VTuber daughter, Subaru, on the left. Here she displays for us her wittiness and her immense insight into the human psyche and condition. For the colours and the unbound expressiveness of the faces and the light and the shadow and the composition are all pushed to the natural limits as can be perceived by the human eye. Playfully, she delivers to us this extraordinary scene out of another world. Oh, and by the way, Ui Sensei is somehow also an internationally renowned streamer and VTuber, as well as an internationally renowned singer. In fact, you might even have heard of one or two of her songs. DS Mayu Sensei She's one of the first anime style artists I discovered, who I was greatly impressed by. Maybe the first even. Because her work is simply put staggeringly beautiful. And you can tell at a glance that the work is hers because of the distinct style. Despite this highly individualistic style, everything feels natural though, and feels so splendidly and immaculately put together onto the page. When one looks at her works, they see the ocean and the fishes. They see the yellow autumn and the trees, and they think, ah, so the world can have such beauty in it, after all. My favourite illustration from her is probably this one, titled Umi no Komorebi which roughly translates to Sunlight of the Sea. Here, her original character, Lily, is swimming in the ocean. I like this piece because the subject matter here is very unique, unheard of even. The wide and fathomless ocean, which has arrested the imaginations of so many human minds, is combined with an abundant variety of fishes out of an aquarium to create a picturesque fairy tale vision. And right in the middle of it is a girl in a yellow dress and white hair swimming. It might be said by me that no one can really conceive of a better composition on an A4 sheet of paper than that of this artist who goes by the name of D.S. Mayu Sensei. Finally is the artist Rosuri. All of Rosuri's works are great, and she is no doubt an artist who has mastered the craft and attained the pinnacle of technique. Despite this, she's always treading into new ground and trying new things. A hallmark of this is her streams, which few artists do, but having watched a few of her streams myself, and despite me not being an avid watcher of streams, 
I can fairly say that she is one of the most entertaining streamers I've ever watched. Admittedly, this is partly because I have an interest in art, which she often talks about. She's also recently started to dabble a little in drawing comics, which I greatly appreciate. I mean, just look at these masterworks of aesthetic beauty, which push the very boundaries of the comic art form itself. One of my favourite art books from her is this one titled Chesha Neku. Here she draws, I think for the first time, her original character, Cheshire Cat who's inspired by the Cheshire Cat in Lewis Carroll's famous novel, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. A single girl with black hair, broken up by strands of purple hair, stares up at you, and her expression is... anger? They say that a picture tells a thousand words, and this drawing certainly tells you Nearly a full story, complete with some questions that you might want answered. Why is this person, a young girl, alone out in the rain with only a t-shirt on? That might be the first question. But that fiery expression captures the imagination, because there are many smiling and happy anime girls of all descriptions in this world and many silent or solemn looking ones, but none almost, as far as I can tell, who have this expression. It's not an outright tsundere outburst of anger, which is indeed quite common, but a twinge of defiance only, a frustrated rage which is masked but threatening to boil over as is often the case in real life. And finally, an underlying tone of annoyance. All of this contrasted with the solemn, quaint setting. Just an ordinary day in a hidden grey street, and a light drizzle is in the air. I'd very much like to see what it is that these artists think. What is it? that goes through their minds when they're making these peerless works of art. Why do they draw? Art for the sake of art? Because it's fun? But surely they've thought deeper than that about it, to have spent so much time on it and reached such a level. Also, what is their opinion on important matters such as art and literature in this day and age? I'd very much like to get a glimpse, at least, into that brilliant mind of theirs, if at all possible, and hear them talking not just about their artistic process, but deeper matters on their mind about art. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video despite it being a little different from usual. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, as always. And also, let me know whether you have any artists who you particularly like. I'll see you down in the comments. Goodbye for now.